terms of the ultrasound, you need an expert operator who is uh, clear about what they are looking for so you don't miss findings. And uh, you look for the liver structure and size, presence of dilated bile ducts or obstructed bile ducts, gallbladder size, wall thickness, and presence of the triangular cord sign, which I'll discuss next. Identification of the extrahepatic obstructive lesions like cholidocal cyst, gallstone, sludge, ascites, spleen size, situs abnormalities, and vascular malformations to look for the syndromic type of biliary atresia. And of course, it's very important. Sometimes the bubble gas interferes with the nature of your study. So if it is difficult to pick up, you can. And usually it's a fasting ultrasound done uh, so that you pick up the gallbladder. Uh, after feed, the gallbladder empties, so it's not conclusive. Remember that picking up a small gallbladder is a finding. You've seen biliary atresia. So the triangular cord sign, abnormal gallbladder morphology, lack of gallbladder contraction after feeding, that means it's uh, fibrosed non-visualization of the common bile duct, hepatic artery diameter, the ratio of the hepatic artery diameter to the portal vein, subcapsular blood flow. They, they have all been suggested to aid, but not uh, none of them can singularly confirm the diagnosis. You cannot just say because the sign is there, it's biliary atresia, but it increases your index of suspicion. And most infants with biliary atresia have a small undetectable gallbladder. So that's why the fasting scan is very important. If you're suspecting pan hypopituitarism because of the risk of the sugar dropping, you wouldn't uh, make the infants fast too long. In addition, findings such as heterotaxy, midline liver, polysplenia, asplenia, pre-duodenal portal vein, they increase the concern of biliary atresia with malformation. And uh, normal ultrasound does not rule out non-syndromic biliary atresia. So this is the triangular cord sign, more than or equal to four millimeter thickness of the echogenic anterior wall of the right portal vein. So the echogenic anterior wall of the right portal vein, and it's a triangular tubular area of echogenic fibrous tissue in the porta hepatis. So this triangular area of tissue is a triangular cord sign, and it falls on the anterior margin of the right portal vein. Anterior